This is a quick video for anyone interested in pulling information from their Renogy solar controller. For this, I connected a Raspberry Pi Zero to the Renogy and then used a nice Python package from Git uh, to pull the information out. I have a Renogy Rover controller and it has an uh, RS-232 interface. RS-232 is pretty ancient, but it's a reliable protocol but it doesn't line up well with uh, modern computers. Fortunately, you can get an adapter like this, pretty cheap from Amazon, that converts it to USB, and you just need to connect three wires. But the jack on the Renogy is kind of strange too. It's an RJ12. It's kind of like the old phone jacks, but don't assume that you can use that old phone cable in your junk drawer. That was most likely an RJ11, and they only use the center pins on the RJ11. So once again, it's back to Amazon for another adapter. So now we can finally start to put this together. So we've got the RJ12 adapter going into the Renogy, and then the three pins coming out of that. Those then connect to the RS-232 to USB adapter and the three pins on that. One thing to note about RS-232 is that when you connect two devices together, you connect the TX, the transmit, from one to the RX, the receive, from another, and then vice versa from the other device. TX from that to the RX of the first. And then lastly, you just need to connect the two grounds together. I cleaned these wires up later, but this is what I used for a prototype. And one final bit of hookup here is that you need a uh, USB adapter going from USB-A female to USB micro male in order to hook up the RS-232 adapter to the Raspberry Pi. And I'll leave a link in the description. So I mentioned the uh, package on Git that I used to pull the information out of the controller. It's called Renogy Modbus. And once again, I'll leave a link in the description. I used the exact command shown on the Git page to access the controller, including the same port name and slave address. After everything was hooked up, it all worked the first time. And you get some useful information out, like the solar power and the load power and the battery state of charge. I hope this was helpful to someone. Good luck with your solar.